this video, we saw some more interesting examples of dividing two numbers. In this video, we will see some more fun examples about doing division. A stage play is going to be held in Champapur's fair. 976 people are coming to see the play. For the audience to come in the play, Chanda has to set up chairs in such a way that there are eight chairs in each row. She is thinking how many rows she has to make so that no chair is left empty. Appu was then passing by. He asked Chanda, Chanda, what are you doing? I am trying to figure out how many rows of eight chairs can I make so that I can divide the audience of 976 people in such a way that no chairs are left vacant. Chanda told Appu, you can find the answer by using the division method. Let's both use the division method to find a solution. Appu told Chanda. Both Chanda and Appu started looking for answers to 976 divided by 8. I found the answer, Appu. See this. Chanda told Appu. I also found the answer, Chanda. Appu showed his paper to Chanda. What is this? Both Chanda and Appu have used division in different ways. Let us see if the answer from both their division methods is same. First, we will see the division that Appu did. Appu first saw that 8 times 100 is 800. So he wrote 100 on the top. And from the 976 below, he subtracted 800 and wrote 176. Now Appu saw that 8 times 20 is 160. So he added 20 above and at the bottom he deducted 160 from 176 and wrote 16 at the bottom. Now finally Appu saw that 8 times 2 is 16 and he quickly wrote down 2 at the top and he deducted 16 from 16 and wrote 0 at the bottom. In this way, according to the process of Appu's division, the 976 chairs can be equally divided into rows of 8 chairs each by adding the numbers 100 plus 20 plus 2, that is 122 rows. Now, let's see how Chanda did this division. Chanda saw that she could divide 9 by 8. 8 times 1 is 8. So she wrote 1 above and subtracted 8 from the 9 and wrote 1 below. Now Chanda wrote the next number, 7, next to the 1 below. Because 8 times 2 is 16, Chanda saw that she could divide 17 by 8. She immediately wrote the 2 above and subtracted 16 from 17 below and wrote 1. Finally, Chanda wrote down the next number, 6, next to 1. Once again, she thought that 8 times 2 is 16. 
so she could divide 16 by 8. She quickly wrote 2 above and at the bottom she wrote 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. In this way, Chanda got the answer of 122 rows. Chanda and Appu were shocked when they saw how to do each other's <gasps> division. Both used different procedures, but both had exactly the same answer. Chanda took the help of Appu and quickly made 122 rows of 8 8 chairs each and used all the 976 chairs. Chanda also has to arrange laddus for the audience coming to watch the play. Chanda has a total of 5856 laddus. If she has to arrange for 6 laddus for each audience, can you guess if Chanda has enough laddus for 976 spectators? To solve this problem, you should use one method of division and ask your friend to divide it by another method. Is the answer that both of you got exactly the same? We can find a solution to this question by these two procedures. Well done children! And your friend has also found the answer to this perfectly. The answer is exactly the same for both of you. Chanda will be able to distribute 5856 laddus in a group of 6 laddus equal to 976 spectators. Therefore, Chanda has plenty of laddus for all the viewers. The audience enjoyed the drama a lot and also relished the laddus. They all had a lot of fun. Children, in this video, we saw some more interesting examples of performing division.